In this problem, we're given this equation and we're asked to find the linearization about the point one comma two. And uh, we can kind of think of it like, all right, if we have this function here, I don't know, it's not really what it looks like, but we might want to find the line that's like tangent here. So that way, let's say we wanted to know the, the variable, uh, we wanted to know the function at this point, but it's like really hard to calculate that point. We can kind of use the point that's on that line as a, as an approximation for that, because you can see how the points are so close. So it's like, yeah, if you want to find any kind of uh, output around this region, you can just use the tangent line to that point that you happen to know. So in order to use this, we need to go L X Y equals F of X not Y not plus F X of X not Y not times X minus X not plus F Y X not Y not times X minus or sorry, this will be Y minus Y not. That's because there's only two variables here and uh, yeah, so basically this is going to give us the equation of that plane there. It's relatively simple. We've got an equation here, we've got the point, so we can just say that LXY is equal to um, plug, plug in 1 and plug in 2, and get 2 to the 4th is 16 times 6. Um, I'm using the equation here, or a little calculator. So we got 16 times 6. Then we're going to subtract uh, like 16 from that and get 80 for the first thing. Plus, derivative with respect to x is negative 8y. And then times x minus x naught is, x, uh, is a 1. And then plus the derivative with respect to y, which is... Um, uh, so fx was going to be equal to negative 8y, and fy is like 24y to the third minus 8x. So that's what we put over here, 24y to the third minus 8x. I'll put these in parentheses because then we also have to plug in these starting values. That would be 2 right there, and then here we actually have to plug in one and two in there so we can have 80 plus um this would be 9 to 16 x minus one plus and i guess we'll make this just like minus 16 in total here just to make it a little easier minus 16 x minus one and then we've got plus let's see this would be 24 times eight um and then minus eight so we get 184, and then y minus 2. And if we simplify this, we'll get 80 minus 16x plus 16 plus 184 y minus 3. I think it's 3 there, something. 184 times 2, 368. And then add that up, and we'll get lx y is equal to... 80 plus 16 minus 368 so we should have a negative 16x plus 184y minus 272 all right not too bad